And now, a Channel 2 editorial. About 150 years ago, Alexis de Tocqueville, a Frenchman, wrote four books about democracy in America. It's good points and bad. A bad one, he found, was that our system is subject to a tyranny of the majority, a political lynch mob that could vote itself the short end of the stick. That possibility is in Proposition 106 on your November ballot. It proposes cutting lawyers' contingency fees by 40% or more. Contingency works like this. You go to a lawyer seeking damages for an injury. He agrees to fight for you against the insurance company. You pay nothing. The lawyer agrees to take your case for one-third of whatever he can recover. No win, no pay. If he makes a good case, the insurance company will usually wait until just before the case comes to trial, three to five years, then negotiate a cash settlement. Insurance companies find contingency lawyers one of their big expenses. They win too much. So the insurance industry put 106 on the ballot to cut contingency fees by one-third on the first $100,000 your lawyer recovers, and by two-thirds on everything over that. It cuts your lawyer's pay, but not the insurance company's lawyer. What looks like a free lunch is really an incentive for your lawyer to settle for less, take his money, and run. If the scheme were valid, it would make sense to vote down the price of bread, utilities, everything we buy, but there's no free lunch. Prop 106 is an 18-carat turkey, and you best not buy it. I'm Bob Hyland.